as the Taliban celebrate victory from an unconditional surrender, we with the House Freedom Caucus demand accountability. It is time for action. The American people are fed up. I'm fed up. The people standing here with me today are fed up. 13 service members killed. $85 billion worth of military equipment abandoned. Thousands of Americans left stranded, hundreds at this point. It should be enough for even the weakest, wokest members of Congress to step up. I would hope that just one Democrat would have the courage to join us, that one Democrat could do more than the so-called commander-in-chief who could only look at his watch while moms received the remains of their babies in Dover. Yesterday, terrorists killed someone, strung a person up by our very own Black Hawk helicopter and flew him around for all the world to see. Even Tony Montana would be ashamed, embarrassed, and disgusted at what's happening right now. The truly oppressed, the Christians, the women, the children, the ones who dared to believe in freedom, they won't be rewarded for taking a knee. They'll be raped, they'll be slaughtered, all by savages using America's military equipment. After 20 years of war, Joe Biden, or whoever's telling him what to do nowadays, made the Taliban stronger than ever. Make no mistake, members of the House Freedom Caucus are not standing here today because Nancy Pelosi called for an emergency session of Congress. No, we're standing here because Nancy Pelosi, Joe Biden, and Kamala Harris, and every person they put in a position of leadership failed our brave men and women. They failed our brave men and women of the United States military, and they failed the American people. Think about it. Speaker Pelosi called us back into session to begin the process of spending trillions and trillions of dollars. We damn sure can be called back into Congress for this. This weekend, I promised every citizen I represent that I would do everything in my power as a United States Congresswoman to get rid of Joe Biden. Kamala Harris and Nancy Pelosi can follow him out the freaking door. I want everyone listening today on both sides of the aisle to hear these words. We were sent to Washington to represent the American people, not to watch our country give away billions of military equipment to known terrorists, not to sit idly by waiting for the next election, and certainly not to put up with an inept, weak, and incapable regime that puts everyone but American citizens first. From day one, this regime, so-called administration, has been all about America last policies, and every day they prove that more and more. The father of one of our fallen soldiers said, hey, I'm just a carpenter, and even I can figure out how horrible this exit strategy was. We all know that we needed to leave Afghanistan, and we all see how failed this mission was. He's right, and you know it. His son did not deserve to die. The blame starts at the top with Biden and his hand-picked vice president, who bragged that she was right there making the same bad decisions. And if not for her own dereliction of duty, she should be impeached for not demanding we invoke the 25th Amendment. It is time for action. Impeach Biden, impeach Kamala Harris, and throw in the Secretary of State if you could get him back from vacation. Take a vote to vacate the chair. 
to get Nancy Pelosi the heck out of here. I hope at this time, at this stage, where we are today, there might be a handful of Democrats who actually might join us in taking a stand for our fallen soldiers, for America, for the Constitution. And if there are any Republicans who have any doubt, know that you will be facing your own primaries. And no amount of your precious money will be able to save you from the uprising of the American people who demand we do something now. I didn't come to Washington, D.C. to be a part of your clubs. I came here to make sure my boys never lived in a socialist nation. And now, today, I'd have to second guess who would actually lead them if they took a stand to serve and join our military. Woke doesn't work. Cutting and running doesn't work. Being asleep or senile or sucking on applesauce obviously doesn't work. We need leadership. We need action. And I plan to do whatever I can to deliver on both of these. Thank you very much. Louis Gohmert, Texas.